All right, check this out. Sharp commercial microwaves. I've got two of them. These are commercial microwaves. They have a six minute dial timer. They have a grab handle. They do not even have a door open button. And so they're stainless steel. Commercial microwaves. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them really quickly. Here's what it looks like before I even unwrap it. So let me get it unwrapped and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here it is out of the box. Unwrapped. Look at that, it's got pretty good ventilation in there. Nice stainless. Nice stainless look. 1000 watts. Now it's not a super high power and it's got a rotary dial. It's continuous, it's just digital detents. No start stop button. All plastic and stainless interior. Does not have a turntable, it has a waveguide down here that actually turns. But we were having problems with these things rusting. And so this is hopefully the cure to this to keep it from rusting is to have a stainless steel interior. And it is a pretty good sized box too. It, it actually is larger than it looks on the camera. So I think I'm gonna get some water and we'll put it in here and fire it up. But uh, before I do that, I wonder if they have any security screws back here, like Torx or anything. No, they don't. Let's take the top off and look inside before we do anything else because why would we want to turn it on before we take it apart just want to see the build quality all right so interior let's look at the build quality here doesn't look too terribly bad so we should see a motor down here for the waveguide because it's going to actually turn the waveguide as the microwaves enter it does have a sharp made magnetron I've definitely seen worse motors. That one's not too terribly bad. It's only got a four-bladed fan, but what are you gonna do? It's actually got a fairly hefty transformer. Considering it is a commercial model, it should have a pretty good sized transformer meant to be used over and over for long periods of time, as opposed to the consumer model that has a transformer about half that size. There's the voltage doubler, capacitor, and diode down here. And then let's take a look at the switches over here. And then there is the main board. There's where all the electronics are. Well, there's really not much to it because it only goes from zero up to six minutes. And that's it. Nothing else. Gives you a little guide as to how long you should cook something. And then we got a little warning on here. Uh, usually about the monitor switch, if the fuse were to blow, um, you wanna check your monitor switch because that's this switch in the middle right here. And what they do on these microwaves, if for some reason the main relay were to stay on, one of these switches feeds back to the board to tell it it's okay to run. The other switch, closes the power circuit to enable the magnetron to be energized. But if that switch fails and that switch fails, then when you open the door, this switch puts a dead short across the AC line and its job is to blow this fuse right here. So it talks about replacing the fuse also replace the monitor switch if this were to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and I'll get a cup of water, we'll put it into it and heat it up. So let's give it a minute. It's up and running. Let's look at the current draw. About 14 and a half, almost 15 amps.
Got the water heating inside there. You can see it's counting down on the timer. does make a single beep when it's done. I don't know if it continues to beep until you open the door. I'll give it just a minute here and see. I only heard the one beep. Okay, a couple of drawbacks about this machine. If you set it for a certain time, and then you open the door and close it again, it does not remember that time you had it set for. But it's really meant just to put your food in it, cook it for that first amount of time. Then if you want to turn it or, or stir it, you take it out and you do that. Okay, so one of the things I'm curious about is from the time I start this until the magnetron reaches power, how long is that interval? There we go. It's only just over a second, maybe up to two at the most. That's not very long at all. That's pretty good. So it will go all the way up to six minutes. The six and the five are a different color than the other ones. You can dial it back down. As you can see, we're on the verge of boiling right now. It's only been in there for about a minute and 20 seconds. Not too bad. All right, there it is, all back together. The Sharp Commercial Microwave. So, certainly hope you enjoyed this quick little review on the Sharp Microwave. I will let you know how these things act in a commercial environment, in a break room being used hundreds of times per day if any problems arise. Hey everybody, have a great day. Thanks for watching this quick little video on the Sharp 21 LCFS. Bye-bye.